I applied some primer. I am using the Zenser primer and then I'm going to do the interior of this one with French millinery. Okay? So look at this yumminess. So pretty. Um, this color looks so beautiful with black wax over it too, gang. I'm doing right now, so I have the primer on there, so I'm going ahead and I am applying my ever so favorite IOD molds. I love those molds so much. I've already started and I'm going pretty regal. I want kind of a pretty grand look. This is what I used on the doors. These are keyholes and these are great to do um, if you have dressers or um, they're even cute just for little appliques to put on home decor. You want to just use cornstarch here is all I'm using and I'm going to brush it in lightly. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly warm this up. It just takes a few seconds. Kind of like when you do a pinch pot and you pinch and you press, that's what I have found has worked the best for you. So you want to make sure you have really, really clean, clean edges. Here's another little tip that I figured out. I just grab another mold. I always have my, my piles of molds here. I find that they, they work pretty good for just scraping the tops off and it gets it really flat. So now I'm just gonna take Gorilla Glue and see I'm just doing a nice even coat. Oh, it just barely fits. <laughs> I have them um, covered with letterpress gray and then on top of that I've applied uh, French millinery DIY wax I'm gonna start off with clear I always start with my clear wax first and go away and I've got what this does is it puts a nice I hope you guys can hear me I've got my back to you it puts a nice um, barrier on it. Now if you notice, look at the difference of the change of the color of it. And that is always going to do that. This is a clay based paint again that I'm using. It's the DIY paint brand. Um, so it really absorbs a lot of moisture. Um, when you put anything wet back on it before it's sealed, it's going to go dark on you. We kind of call this a little bit of a freak out factor because it kind of scares you if you don't know this ahead of time. But once this wax dries, you can already see, see that little splotch right there? That's how quickly it's drying. It's already starting to dry and it's starting to absorb in. And this is a creating a little bit of a barrier. It's also a protective coating. Black wax from the DIY. And it's just lovely. It's very strong, it's very potent. It only takes a little bit. Right now, I'm going to go over it and I'm going to apply the color and I'm going to lightly pull some off just to control how dark I want it. And then I'm gonna leave and then I'll come back tomorrow and the whole thing will get buffed. Make sure you check out the backstory on this piece called Why Being a Furniture Painter is Much Larger Than Ourselves at GirlUpCycledStudio.com.